Hey, how's it going everybody? I'm really excited to show you what's inside this box today. You've seen it in a few of my other videos. I've been getting a ton of questions about it. So I'm gonna show you what's inside this box and I hope you enjoy. Thanks for watching. Believe it or not, inside this huge box is a single camera, a lens, a bag, and a few accessories. This is the Leica Frankfurt edition, uh, limited to only 50 pieces. It was produced back in 2015 and it's based on the Leica MP240. Let's take a look inside and see what's in here. Most Leicas come inside these cardboard thin exterior boxes. It's just to protect the inner box and shipping. So let me pull this off and we'll check out what's inside. <clears throat> All right, let's see here. All right, so once we get off that cardboard exterior box, you're left with this beautiful uh, interior box from Leica. All their packaging is really unique and some of the special editions, they really step it up and take it to the next level. So you see, we got the label of what the camera is here. So let's take a look inside. This up here. So you got this nice opening here. We got our paperwork, some manuals, things like that, warranty cards, pretty standard with any camera. The limited editions have this foam enclosure up top here. So they usually put all the paperwork and things like that up top. Pull this off here. And man, once we look inside here, it's a beautiful presentation. It has a box here. It looks like we have our overwork bag here. It's got a leather Leica strap, battery, cable, chargers, all that type of stuff in here. So really a beautiful presentation. All right, let's check out some of the accessories here. Got this leather strap, it's black, it's got white stitching. Really kind of your, your standard uh, Leica strap that come with like a Safari or something like that. So nothing too crazy there. But one thing that's really unique about this camera is this Overworth bag that's specially made for this edition. So it's got the Leica Gallery Frankfurt uh, stamped right here. It's got these cool closures. What's unique about it is it's got the blue stitching to match the grayish blue hue of the camera. So yeah, really nice leather bag. I personally don't use this because I actually make all my own camera bags and accessories and straps along like this. So although it's really cool, it's not something I use. So I just keep it stored in the box. I really bought this set for the lens and the camera body, which I think are just gorgeous. All right, so let me set some of this packaging aside here and we'll pull out what we've all been looking to see here, which is this really cool uh, inner box here. And it, it really has like, it's gray, but it has like a wood grain on it. It's got the Leica Gallery Frankfurt logo here. Um, it's got this really cool drawstring. So yeah, this is where the main piece of the set is, the camera and lens. So let's take a look inside. So slips open here, it's got a little hold there. And inside you have the beautiful camera, the, the blue paint, uh, your 50 Sumalux uh, silver chrome is spherical. Um, and the really rare hood that comes with this set. To my knowledge, it's the only silver chrome spherical in a scallop style body that comes with a silver hood. Um, they made a limited edition with the MP3 in the early 2000s that has uh, the silver chrome body, but it has a black hood uh, that matches just like the black chrome Sumalex that they still sell today. So, and another thing that's unique about this, since that MP3 lens came out uh, in the early 2000s for a film camera, it wasn't six bit coded. This lens is six bit coated, so it looks similar. The hood, the six bit coating, it's a little bit different than that standard uh, silver chrome Sumalux. So just something kind of interesting there, but yeah, you have this beautiful packaging. We'll pull out the camera body here and that beautiful blue, which, they, which like it calls gray, which is kind of interesting. Uh, the lens, it's pretty cool. It has metal front and rear caps there. Here's our lens hood. So yeah, that's what the set looks like. Check that out here. So. It's definitely cool when I'm storing this in my cabinet area. I keep the camera kind of in here. Yeah, just a really cool display. It's cool seeing the red. Um, I'm definitely a sucker for these limited editions. So this is one that I could afford. Um, still not super inexpensive, but yeah, it's uh, something I saved up for a long time for, and I'm really excited that I have it now. And uh, unlike a lot of Leica collectors, um, I actually take my stuff out and use it. So when I bought this camera, I really wanted to make sure that it was something I would be okay with taking out, shooting, not worrying about if I get a scratch or a dent on it. You know, I'm very careful with my equipment, but I definitely use it. So 
I take the best care of it I can, but if something does happen to it, I told myself going in that I would be okay with it. So yeah, it definitely uh, gets a lot of use. I probably take it out at least once a week, um, put a various range of lenses on it. All right, let's throw the hood on the lens here, check it out, put it on the body and see what it looks like. Take off these metal caps. It's got the Leica engraving on here, which is really cool. Nice, nice and hefty to these, or nice and heavy there. The body cap on the camera is solid brass, very heavy. Um, all right, let's throw the hood on here. That silver chrome lens that is just absolutely gorgeous. This silver Sumalex with the scalloped body, in my opinion, is one of the prettiest Leica lenses they've ever made. Um, it looks really nice on here, so. Yep, the hood, the body has these silver dials. It matches up really nice. Uh, I think what attracted me to this camera was definitely the biggest thing was probably the lens. Uh, and then I also like that even though it's a limited edition for the like a Frankfurt store, um, if you can see here, there's no like Frankfurt engravings or anything like that. It's just a standard MP in a beautiful blue or gray as like it calls it with a matching leatherette here. So it's got a few little branding things. It says Frankfurt gallery on the lens. Uh, this camera is number 18 out of 50, so it does say that in the lens. It's cool to see that they, they match up the serial numbers, but yeah, overall, I although I love the look of some of the other editions that are like the Jim Marshall and things like that, I, I personally don't like having someone else's name or another photographer engraved. I totally get it in the collectability of these, but it's just not something that I was super into. I can't afford to buy all the editions, even though I would like to. So I had to kind of pick one and yeah, definitely the minimal branding that just kind of looks like a beautiful MP definitely drew me into this camera. Yeah, it's really pretty. Um, and definitely one of my favorite Leicas ever made for sure. All right, now that I've unboxed it, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about the history of this camera and why it was produced. They only produced 50 of these cameras. This is number 18 out of 50. Like I said, it has the matching serial number on the lens, which is pretty cool. Um, they base this off the MP240. So it has the same glass screen and the upgrades as the MP. It doesn't have the logo on the front. Um, and it was produced for the Leica store in Frankfurt, Germany back in 2016. The color of this camera in this beautiful gray paint takes inspiration from 20 M2s that Leica delivered to the US Navy in 1960. It's one of the rarest production Leicas ever at only 20 units produced, and one recently sold for 360,000 euros at the Lights Photographica auction. The Silver 50 Sumalux that this comes with has a scalloped silver body, and it looks similar to the V1 50 Sumalux that came out in the 1960s. This camera is really just a throwback to that 1960s M2 with a similar looking lens to something that you would have bought in that era. This is the strap I use on the Frankfurt edition. Uh, it's got the neck pad here. It's got a nice suede liner. It's super comfortable. Um, it's got a blue alligator that matches the, the color of the camera pretty well and a brown vachetta leather that accents it. Uh, it's all hand stitched and yeah, it's, it's cool to be able to make my own custom straps for all my cameras. I'm gonna throw it on there and show you guys what it looks like. Hey, thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the unboxing of this unique camera. I'm gonna show you some sample images now I've taken along with this combination, uh, some of my other lenses, some 35 millimeter, some uh, images from the 50 Noctilux 1.2 that just came out. So check them out and I hope you enjoy. Thanks for watching.